So in the last few videos, we've been covering a lot of different networking technologies, and I thought we could quickly look at how they fit into the OSI model. So this is a seven layer model developed by the International Standards Organization in the early 1980s. And uh, OSI stands for Open Systems Interconnection Model. And it's not a perfect model, it's been around for a while, but it's, it is ubiquitous in any sort of uh, detailed conversation uh, that, that you might have about networking. And it's still a pretty useful conceptual model, um, I think, in, you know, to reason about how uh, different technologies uh, fit together. So, you know, we'll refer to it from time to time just to kind of see how things fit in. So, so far, we haven't talked too much about layers three through seven uh, yet, but we have been talking quite a bit about layer one and layer two in the last few videos. And so layer one is the, is the physical layer. So some of the things that we've talked about at this layer include um, the, the sort of physical uh, means of, of encoding information. So whether that's over copper or fiber or, or radio waves, um, and we've specifically been talking about Manchester code as, as one way of encoding data. Um, there are a couple others that we, that we haven't really touched on, NRZ, and, and, uh, which is non-return zero, and, and QAM, which is the quadrature amplitude modulation. Uh, we may cover in some later videos on, on some more advanced things. Uh, but just wanted to show you that there are some other things here. And then layer two is the data link layer which has to do uh, primarily with framing and frame formats. And so we've talked about Ethernet framing um, using the preamble and the inner frame gap to denote frames. Uh, we've also talked about HDLC and using those, uh, those flag bytes uh, to denote frames. Um, and then we've also talked about the frame format. So the Ethernet logical link control, which is the Ethernet frame format that we, that we just looked at, uh, or the PPP logical link control. Um, and so those are basically all of the layer one and layer two technologies that, that we'll talk about for now. Um, but then as we start to cover more, uh, tech, uh, more of the layers in this model, I think we'll, it'll help to more to kind of see how things fit together. We'll check back in here um, just to kind of see how things fit um, and how each layer sort of depends on the layers below it.